Hi. Um, I don't know if you know me. It's Haida. Uh, probably people heard my name from uh, my website or the Korg website. Working on the Kronos, uh, doing lots of stuff um, to enhance the output or the functionality of it. Um, it's been a long time since I last appeared on, on the uh, on the website. Basically, it's to do with me uh, being very busy with other bits and pieces to, to work on with, uh, with my company. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up on what's going on and how things are progressing with the Kronos. Probably hope you like it. Um, working on the latest and greatest uh, interfacing with the Kronos. Basically, I've made uh, a new change, a new set to the to the APIs. Um, just wanted to take you through what's going on in here. Basically, this is the Kronos uh, AT8 that I have. Probably most of you have seen it on the Korg website. Um, obviously, the screen not changed or anything. Um, interface, oh, sorry, created a, a VGA interface through um, the ports in here in the back. So there's the VGA port, uh, which is basically an RJ45 going to the monitor. Also on the other side, uh, you can see the Shark interface or uh, the, the ARM to USB, along with another Ethernet going. Uh, uh, interface. Now, um, back into the subject, probably most people wondering about what's going on with the build or design or the operating system. The good news is I have actually, um, with the limited time, uh, I've, I've started to do some nice things to the system. So, I just wanted to show you basically, the screen in here is actually connected to the Kronos. Um, and, um, you know, if I you can play and stuff, but the nice thing you've tr I don't think you've seen before, you may like, is for example when you press the drum track here, watch the screen, if I press it, um, on and off, so basically uh, as a new API set, API layer set, so if I press the button here, you can see on the screen um, that there is uh, an, a, a response from the system. Also, um, to oh, to check another thing is the start stop. So we, we are basically in the sequencer mode. So if I press, let's just put the camera so things can can show nicely. So if I press the start stop here, um, you can see here now the functionality actually responding with um, uh, you know the 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 information. Also, if we go to the set list. Um, you know, changing the rhythm for any item that has rhythm or enabled or disabled would actually show on the monitor uh, the information. So basically, to let you know, um, it's it's great. The work is currently in progress. A bit slow though. Um, I wish I could do it any faster. The problem is the time. Um, it's it's progressing basically. Um, all the mapping is going through. All the API set has been done, uh, the OS has been fully recompiled, the OA.ko uh, which lives inside the mod has been fully recompiled. Um, basically these are the test functions that I actually just tapped into uh, to show you um, exactly how it's happening to the, to the, to the system. So to disable it, uh, we could do it, um, so if I just disable the uh, my interface and uh, if I just run the same functionalities again, you probably would see that is not, um, you know, wouldn't respond uh, as you can see here. So no response. But if I enabled my interfaces back, well, I've got actually another interface to show you as well. So now, um, basically here, if I to the other interface has disabled some functionality within the OS. So if I press that button now, um, you can now see I've disabled the function here on the system. So basically the functionality of the drum track, as you can see the lights will no longer appear because I actually told it programmatically to be disabled. Um, likewise, similar, um, loads of things will change. Uh, I'm going through lots of things about how the operating system um, changes. So basically, 
um, in, in terms of interfacing with the functions or the systems or changing the functionality of the OS, already started working on things like the in return key or the enter key, uh, making it useful. That's already in progress and uh, is actually quite nice results there. Can't show you anything yet. Um, loads of stuff going on in the background on the voice processing and the sound system. Uh, it's also the plumbing. I'm not really changing the, the synthesis engine, uh, so to speak, just basically mapping into it to making sure that whatever cork did stays the same. I'm just basically changing the way it interfaces to, to, to the system of the, the, the UI interface. Um, anyway, I hope you like it. This is the first video I'm actually posting. Um, lots will come later on. Um, quite busy, but things are progressing and they will change at some point and hopefully you'll get a nice um, well system or down, something to download later on as, as, as we go along. I um, hope you like it and uh, wishing you a happy new year and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.